A disputed piece of property in downtown Asheville is drawing attention again. It is the city-owned lot right across from the historic Basilica of St. Lawrence. It's where a push is on to build a park. News 13's Frank Crocker has the story. They're sprouting up everywhere. Small yard signs with the image of what a green space might look like right across the street from the historic Basilica. It's only eight-tenths of an acre, retaining walls, a fenced-in gravel area, city pay parking. The small lots created big debate for more than a decade. The latest controversy, a hotel project approved by the city, then dropped by the developer. Now, all but one council member, Cecil Bothwell, favors finding a buyer for the $2 million parcel to recoup costs and generate tax revenue. We are fighting about the future of our city. And so, we, seeing as like the, the short-term financial costs, yes, they're important, but the city has found ways to get around that before. Justin Niemans, one of the volunteers who canvasses neighborhoods, gets signatures on petitions and signs in front yards. It's no coincidence their push comes in an election year. Council seats open. The park is also about politics. We know these people, these candidates will canvas. We know that they're going to knock on these doors and ask about what issues they care about. And uh, so we, we're talking to the public and talk about this issue. So we're getting there before the candidates get there. The St. Lawrence Green movement is just getting off the ground with this web page. Members citing a non-scientific survey conducted back in 2012. They did a phone poll of everyone who'd voted in the last two city council elections and 75% of them wanted, wanted to park. We talked to people about the issue and we've had overwhelming support. You know, most people, we, almost everyone we talked to puts up signs, they sign petitions, or, you know, this is, this is a popular issue.